My neighbor paid me a great compliment recently. Helped me in a way she could never, ever have imagined. I was mowing my lawn, you see, and another neighbor drove by and slowed down and stopped and shouted from her car in that way, How are you? I shouted back, trying for Blythe. Sweaty. <laughs> well, you look great, she continued. And I had to turn off the mower at this point. It was clear she had something nice to say. How long has it been? She was relentless. <laughs> Five years, I said. Wow, she said, and shook her head in humbled awe. That is amazing. You are such a survivor, you. <laughs> Guess so. Today, I said, brittle, bright, not blind, knock wood. And I yanked the cord on my Murray as hard as I could, and I got back to my lawn. She drove away, and I knew that she felt sorry for me, which pissed me off. I knew as I trimmed out the junipers that she was in the stop and shop at that very moment, patting herself on the back for purchasing fat-free pink ribbon Yoplait. I knew as I accidentally mowed over the little hydrangea that she was so glad that she was not me. And I knew when I stepped in the giant pile of poop from the fucking Great Dane from next door <laughs> that she was thinking that I had to mow my own lawn because I had no man, because I had one breast. And even if that did not matter to him, which was highly unlikely, I was a sketchy proposition after all, five years or not. But you go, girl, you big survivor, you! <laughs> Got my shovel. And I scooped up the rest of the poop, which was considerable. <laughs> and I walked next door and I dumped it in Suzanne's driveway by the mailbox like I always do. Suzanne came flying, flailing out of her house. She is one of those demented, multiple pet-owning vegetarian neighbors. <laughs> and she got very close to my face and she said, you fat-ass cancer bitch. <laughs> fat-ass cancer bitch? Really? What a, what a wacky thing to say to someone who's just dumped a pile of your dog's poop in your driveway. Fat-ass cancer bitch. But it was sort of wonderful. Her lack of politeness. Her rage and, frankly, insane indignation spoke her very clear fact of me. Not colored by guilt or pity, or bumper stickers, or disease of the month, point of purchase, advertising propaganda, not even colored by curbside nicety. And certainly not pink. <laughs> Fat ass cancer bitch. I like that. Well, maybe not the fat ass part. I don't think she truly meant that bit, but it lent the phrase meter. Fat ass cancer bitch. There was strength and tenacity in that at least. And quite possibly a kind of timeless, shining triumph. The Venus de Milo. No arms. Winged victory. No head. <laughs> what if they had dug the goddess of Willendorf, that fat little fertility statue so round and luscious, if they had dug her out of the Danube in 1908? And she had had only one breast. Fat ass cancer, bitch! <laughs> now there was a name I could hang my hat on. <laughs> Fat ass cancer, bitch. There is more to this than merely surviving. I laughed. Suzanne's face contorted despite the Botox. <laughs> you need to up your meds, crazy lady, and keep your stupid dog in your own yard. But thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs>